just ignore this bit and that bit. Yes, I'm, I am here. I wasn't uh, feeling 100% yesterday. I was going to put a video up for you guys to say hello, I'm back and all this that, but like I say, still wasn't feeling it, neither was I Monday. <coughs> um, a lot better. Today I feel a lot better anyway. Monday, Tuesday I was still feeling a bit ropey. My me, uh, me lips are starting to heal after the, uh, a massive cold sore through being ill last week. And, uh, but other than that, I'm feeling alright. And the bonus side of it is that I've lost weight. Yeah. Oh, yes. It's due to the fact I haven't ate, but, you know, silver lining and all that. Two, I'm doing the usual, as usual. <clears throat> Off to uh, Unilever in Litchfield and stuff like that. Ugh. Still getting a bit tired, mind you, though. I must admit, but that's because obviously last week I was having an abundant amount of sleep, whereas this week I'm, having, I'm only having six hours sleep and whatever. So, because obviously I'm still not 100%, I could still do a little bit more sleep. But hey, whatever. <clears throat> Um, to answer the question about uh, videoing my new car, again, I couldn't do it while I was ill because I just, just no, there's just no way. Um, this weekend, if I get a chance, I will do it and give you a little uh, run around my car, my new one. But uh, you just have to bear with me at the moment because <coughs> I still ain't right. <coughs> Better, but still not right. The uh, snot count has now dropped down to around about 10% instead of 100%. Oh dear. Talk about snot. Fuck me. I've never known snot like it. Um, but unbelievable. It was like a constant tap. Ridiculous. I, I actually slept with bog roll wedged up my snot out to stop it from fucking pissing out. It was unreal. Absolutely. What a white mess. I even, I mean, I took pictures of my face and, and my cold uh, sores uh, actually um, developed through the, the time of being ill. And I knew it was coming because whenever I'm ill and your immune system runs down, that's when they go, ah, right, we're going to get you now. Ah. So not only are you ill, those jump in and have a good old kick in your fucking ribs while you're down, you know what I mean? So, it's not good. And, um, it just went... You know what I mean? That sort of thing. It was just nasty. Manky and nasty. And that makes you feel worse as well at the same time. So not only are you feeling shit because you, you're ill and you just... Yeah, and then that comes along and gives you another kick in. Great, absolutely. Just what I needed. <clears throat> yeah, unfortunately, it's what you pick up in this environment, you see. There's not a lot you can do about it. I mean, you could ask the drivers to be a bit more cleaner. <laughs> You know, washing their hands, and or if they're actually are oh, feeling a bit ill, fuck off home, and then say, "I'm ill," so that the person who goes in here can give it a bit of a wipe down with some, uh, you know, antibacterial wipes and shit to give us a fighting chance. But nah, it's too fucking easy, isn't it? Oh. <clears throat> but. Um, <clears throat> I'm sure I'll be fine as the days progress. <sighs> Next week, I probably won't even look like I've, I've been in at all, so... Yeah, it'll all be better. It'll all get there in the end. Oh. Have you missed me, though? Yeah? Have you missed me? 
Did you? In, I, I've, I've put that uh, drive along video up that I did. Well, that was the day I actually fell ill. Would you believe that? That uh, Oldham to the Stafford services was the day I actually fell ill. And as I was putting the video out together, you could see the way I was starting to deteriorate. It was very subtle, with all the the yeah you know, the coughs and the snuffles and that. As it was, as I went through that video, I'm like, fucking hell, man. I was starting to feel a bit shitty. And then obviously, when I um, <coughs> I pulled up at the services, and um, I went into McDonald's, got myself a Mackey's. I didn't actually eat it all. Because uh, I, as I'll admit, I just I felt like oh, I, couldn't, I just couldn't fucking oh, look at that shit on my fucking hand already. I just couldn't uh, I couldn't face it. I just uh, yeah, I was like eh. so I, I chucked chucked that away. But I didn't feel ill inside here at that point. The half an hour had gone by, so then obviously I pulls out. Now, as soon as I get on the fucking motorway, it fucking hit me straight in the gut. I'm like, fuck. You know that sensation, you know, you have when you're feeling a bit, ooh. You know what I mean? Well, that's that's no good when you're just getting on the fucking motorway. You know what I mean? No, it ain't. And especially when you're driving the slowest truck that ever exists, right? So of course I'm having to be rather careful, so I'm driving down the road and I get back in the yard, fucking just pulls the truck straight to the fucking steps and jumps out and off. And um, then I felt okay after that, sort of. And then I had to go off and do another job. Uh, I went up to Litchfield. But as I'm driving to Litchfield, um, all of us, I'm getting this um, sort of excess amount of snot not coming at me nose no oh, no it had to be fucking different didn't it dribbling down the back of my throat <coughs> the fuck and it tasted fucking nasty and i'm spitting and that's how it progressed from that day on and um then obviously on the friday night it just went <laughs> and it just wouldn't stop and I, constantly blowing and that's why i got this sore up here because obviously the amount of times i've had to keep wiping my nose and blowing streaming and streaming and str oh man it never stopped it finally stopped snotting i think it was late monday when it calmed down fucking monday unbelievable well obviously by that time my fucking lips were like fucking baboon's arsehole like i mean it's just fucking unbelievable so um i got that to deal with i felt completely crap and i, I mean i literally fucking lived on pills <laughs> for the weekend i wasn't you know they say um don't exceed the dosage well let's just say the crap because i exceeded it and then some <laughs> oh man did i fuck me i was banging them i mean i had beecham's powders I'd have that, plus three or four fucking paracetamols, cocoa, I'd just fucking... Basically, I was like, ooh, I look like a fucking bag of M&Ms, the way I was chucking them down my neck, like, you know what I mean? It was great. <laughs> it took the pain away, that's for sure. And, um, so, of course, through all that, um, my car went on the Saturday morning, oh, no, sorry, Sunday, Sunday, Sunday morning? Yeah, Sunday morning. And I was looking a bit fucked. And um, <clears throat> so I got that out of the way. Then I just, you know, because obviously you have those highs and lows through the through being ill. And oh, I'll tell you what, he just went from fucking bad to worse. <laughs> oh, I fucking hate that I do. It really pisses me off. So, whenever I do anything now, I'm just fucking wiping shit down with these antibacterial what. But the, the problem I have had of late is because I do this uh, backwards and forwards, and I don't get to go up the road anywhere, I don't get the chance to actually buy any of the wipes. Because <clears throat> obviously when I get into a vehicle, I'm always wiping it down, especially the steering wheel, because that's what we, I mean... I've got into this one, yes, it's it's Matt's uh, lovely little Volvo, but um, because he's in the office, and he's in the office for the rest, I think he was in last week, and he's in this week as well, you can tell, because when he's in it, 
It's tidy, it's clean. But as soon as every Tom, Dick and Harry uh, drives it, it's a fucking shit state. I mean, the steering wheel looks like someone's been a cup of coffee in the one hand and gone, oh, and you know, and fucking chucked the coffee all over the fucking steering wheel. I'm like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? Total disrespect for the person's vehicle. And, and uh, it's just no good. And I was just saying there, like, you know, it'd be nice if they would uh, do that, like, and respect the, the vehicle they drive and clean up after them or what have you. And you probably wouldn't get none of that, but you don't. I mean, as sad as it sounds, we, you still have people who can't even fucking be bothered to wash their hands after they've been to the toilet. And no matter what they're doing in there, you know what I mean? Because we have dirty, fucking, horrible people out there that do these things. And you can't, you can't uh, gauge it, you can't um, monitor it at all, because, well, you'd have to have <coughs> cameras everywhere. You'd, you'd have to have one of those, remember when you were at, uh, at school, at the prefect? <laughs> oh dear. You'd have to have one of them, wouldn't you? Walk around and uh, check in. But... It just wouldn't happen, would it? No. Fucking tell you what. It does. It, it, it makes me smile, it does, because I think to myself, well, how old are you, lot? You know, to, to do those kind of dirty things. I mean, you, you're, not, you're not kids. You're fucking grown ass people. 